Hey, everybody, alongside TJ Calkins, Jay Sannon here with ATS, breaking down week eight of the NFL season. And TJ, right now, we are going to focus on the Cincinnati Bengals, 10 and a half to 11 point favorites, depending on where you shop, taking on the New York Jets. And TJ, are you ready for some Mike White at quarterback for the Jets? Do the Jets have any chance in this ballgame to even cover the number? None whatsoever in uh, my survivor pool. Uh... I have not lost an entry yet, and I have Cincinnati locked this week. So let's hope I'm not putting the malaikin on myself here. But uh, my goodness, what a mismatch this is. Uh, quietly, the Bengals are the one seed in the AFC. Five and two Bengals, they are very stout up front. The Jets won't be able to run the ball. They won't be able to hide Mike White. Mike White, who is playing behind, by the way, an atrocious offensive line. And both sides of the ball are just going to be terrible for the Jets here. Uh, we see what Jamar Chase is doing. <clears throat> but it, even T. Higgins is a forgotten guy. I mean, Chase's game last week was the story. Higgins had 15 targets. You know, he's still a high-end player. He's wildly involved. Mixon's involved. Uh, the Bengals are becoming a truly complete team, and the, their front on defense is really getting the job done. So this is just going to be an absolute massacre. Uh, I was wrong once on a game, uh, the, a home game for the Jets this year. I did pick Tennessee, but I think this is a little different, particularly because of good old Mike White. What, where are you at, Jay? Yeah, I was going to say, I think a lot of people may argue, uh, remember the Titans, and I'm, of course, not talking about the uh, Disney movie with Denzel Washington, and I am talking about that overtime win for the Jets over Tennessee this season. But yes, the difference, Mike White, the difference also in this game is the fact that the Bengals bring a much better defense into the picture than Tennessee had in that contest. Tennessee has been very inconsistent defensively this season. The Cincinnati Bengals, on the other hand, have been spectacular on the defensive, and they are tied for third in the NFL, allowing 5.1 yards per play this season. And that's not going to bode well for Mike White and the New York Jets. The Jets, by the way, TJ, one and five against the spread on the season, which is particularly impressive because you know that they've been big underdogs throughout the year. Yeah, and well, I, I, I just wanted to go back and look since he's seventh in the league in our rush defense and you know, while Michael Carter has been good and his role has increased for the Jets and he's been a bright spot, too little, not enough. Uh, you know, it, I, I, I really was looking at this game and despite it being a road game for the Bengals, I thought it should have been about an 18-point line. You know, that 18, 18 and a half figure is where NFL games generally get capped. So I, I really thought it should have been there. Yeah, and this is a game, TJ, where you got to ask yourself, I mean, realistically, how many points are you expecting from the Jets? And conversely, how many would you need from the Bengals to cover the number here? The Jets come in averaging just over 13 points per game. And if they even get there, I mean, you got to figure that 24 plus is a very doable number for Cincy. I mean, when the defense is getting you 14, I think it's... Uh... <laughs> I think it's going to be really easy to get there. Oh, man. We'll see. We'll see, TJ, because it feels, it, it does feel a little too easy. But at the same time, when you're dealing with Mike White and the New York Jets, you got to like your chances. Sometimes it's not bad to lay the chalk. TJ, thank I'm you. I'm looking for your... around for Admiral Akbar to scream at me that it's a trap. Uh, I don't see him. So I think we're okay. <laughs> oh, man. Who knows? Maybe he'll pop out on Sunday just to, uh, just to mess with us. But TJ, thank you for your thoughts on Bengals, Jets. Of course, for more on Bengals, Jets, everything else going on in the Week 8 schedule, check out ATS.io. TJ Calkins, Jay Sannon, signing off. Go Bengals. Good luck this weekend.